Naturally, with the class of dignitaries present at the occasion, one would wonder if it was an event for political big wings. There were technocrats, business mongols, national and international academics, senior civil servants, traditional rulers and others. They all came from far and near to witness the formal installation of the district governor at Deyemi Oladoku. I present to you the latest district governor Humanity should rejoice, disrespect, service, delivery to all nooks and crannies of Nigeria, not even restricted only our four states. For instance, each month of uh, the year has a purpose. Uh, we are doing membership in August, September, we are going to do basic education and literacy. We have two shiploads of books on the sea right now, and we hope to arrive in Nigeria before September. I wish him good health to be able to carry the other people along, the presidents of different clubs, and I wish him a successful tenure in office. Guest speaker, former governor of Delta State, Dr. Emmanuel Udoa, reminded the district governor of the demands of leadership, saying a leader must be ready to show the responsibilities at all times. You have to take risks to succeed. You just have to take risks sometimes as a leader. Don't say, oh, uh, I'm the leader, I'm this. No, 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 no. If you don't take risks, the organization you are leading, you find that you've lost everything. Representative of the Pond of Arts, His Royal Majesty, Oba Moraina, Adebanjo Adedemi, and other traditional rulers prayed for God's wisdom for the brand new leader to enable him pilot the district for the next one year. We felicitate with him through our Baba that, you know, first of all, he's a son of Odudua. He's from Ekoile. We are very proud of him. And that is why you see all of us here rally around him to support him. Guests were entertained by the Delta State Arts and Culture Dance Troupe. Some deserving Daltons and Rotarians we are giving the war. I feel elated for being recognized today as a fellow of a Rotary International. It's a good feeling and um, let me also tell you that this is my best award since um, assuming office as Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education. So I'm indeed um, humbled and, and uh, delighted as well. I found myself very satisfied since yesterday I arrived, everything is perfect and I, I enjoy it a lot. And I hope this uh, uh, Ed Yami new governor will be very successful in the new year. Activities preceding the installation were the inauguration of a two water closet constructed by the Asaba Metropolitan. You all have taken time to do this for us. And I'm sure you that you're more of a Saba, that this will be a project that we will constantly maintain. And we are most grateful to you all. A visit to the Asaba's palace by the Olukoyi of Ikoyi, His Royal Majesty, or by Isao Bamitale Otunla. So God will bless you. Pray for all of the materials. Well, that will be to see God, man, I have. To congratulate the um, the traditional ruler, so that um, to tell these people to continue in this spirit. And the match against polio in Asaba.
Helen Dunkel on TNN. who is here today to commission the project that we're all here to experience. I will also want to recognize the host uh, president, uh, Mr. Augusto Sadomabo. We're all here today to experience the commissioning of this project here, which is the toilet and overhead water tank. All this done by the Rotary, the Metropolitan uh, club. We all know what Rotary stands for and we all know that it's an international organization and all they do is humanitarian services and today is one of those things. I cannot experience the joy that I have in this whole thing, being part of it. It's one of a kind and I'm not going to label everybody or anybody with any more speech. It is a day that we are all very proud of. It's a day that the name Rotary will go into history in Asaba. I thank the Rotarians that have worked hard so much supporting um, the president and everybody. I thank you all so much. Initially, it was like a project. We we're not sure whether it was going to come up or not. But now we're experiencing the end of it. As our people will enjoy this project. It is meant for the public. It is meant for us. 
And I can assure you one thing. The history on how this came into place, I was very much part of it. And I will continue to be part of it. Because it has to be maintained. It has to be maintained. You all will not be disappointed. And I actually ought to continue doing that work. The mission, the goal for Rotarian, continue doing it. And as you do it, your blessings will be overwhelming. God bless you all. Um, may I stand on Rotarians? May we take our popular song, We Are Rotarians, and the chorus. So let the world of Rotary give your time, your wealth, and talent. Come and join us, come and serve. We are Rotarians, we are Rotarians, serving our humanity. We are the ones who, please let's rise. We are the king, yes, we are the king. Come and join us, come and join us, come and join, join us, join the world of Rotary. Give your time, your wealth and talent, come and join us, come and serve. Thank you. Goes to President for her address. They are more of our presence. Past the assistant governors in the three year. Like the Omo rightly expressed when, when, he, when she was talking. That goes to show that Rotary is really a very organized organization. Like uh, it said, after the Roman Catholic Church, Rotary Club, Rotary Club International is the next organized organization in the world. Because we have continuity in Rotary. That is why I'm standing here today, commissioning a project started by my predecessor. Last Rotary year, uh, we, we realized that there was a need for this facility here through our need assessment. And the need was related to the district. And the district gave approval of it. Not only did they give approval, they also sent us money to start the project. And because of the commitment of our past president, Ademabu, the project was done, and today we're here for the commissioning. Rotary, like the Omo has mentioned, is a humanitarian service organization. We go about doing good. Two weeks ago, we were at Uzigo Primary School. We commissioned the project where a hundred uh, orphans were uh, giving uh, school bags, school uniforms, and other writing materials. The major project Rotary is known for is uh, polio eradication. And polio and uh, Rotary has sworn to see the end of polio in the world. And today, they are about getting there. We are almost there. And, and Rotary will never rest until we accomplish it. But we did not just concentrate on that. We still go ra around doing, identifying problems, providing succor, touching lives, putting smiles on faces. And that is why we identify that this place uh, around here, that there is open defecation. And we felt that because uh, one of the interests of Rotary is to prevent diseases and to control diseases, we also Work, we, we also do more of uh, water and sanitation. That's why, because we have the interest of the people at heart, we have we, we decided to provide these toilet facilities to reduce diseases. Because when people are op uh, defecating openly, it's easy to contact diseases. So that is why we're here. To God be the glory, the project has been completed. 
And today, we're handing it over to the community. Thank God, too, for the Omu. You have promised us that you will take care of this. You will see that this project is maintained because grocery don't do projects that are not maintained. So we are grateful. It continues to, you know, two years from now, some people that will take over, we have known them. My dear Rotarians, past assistant governors, past the heart of uh, Rotary. In Rotary, we have six areas of focus. Six areas of focus. And if you begin to group them, this is one of the leading topics in our six areas of focus. Water and sanitation projects. We take this one very dear to our heart because water is life itself. When you give somebody water, you have virtually given life to the person. And in most of our African communities, when you come in, the first thing they offer you is water. So we attach much importance to water projects all over the world. And when you talk of sanitation, and you think of all the waterborne diseases that are available and preventable, you want to indulge in provision of more of this type of projects so that people can be healthier. A healthy community is the type we are looking after. Yes, mommy, you are very right to say Rotarians, all we do is provide service to humanity. In fact, that is the common thing that unites about 1.2 million Rotarians all over the world, service to humanity. And I'm pleased to hear that you were part of this project. And that is because Rotary feels we cannot do it alone. And Rotary has this belief that there are so many Rotarians outside Rotary doing good. You are one of them, Your Royal Majesty. And in such, we partner with non-governmental organizations, community leaders, professionals, and the rest of people that have good mind. It interests you that we work with people like uh, Bill Gates and the rest of them. So many other foundations, Lily Foundation, we work with them. Because with them, we can achieve more. If you say, yes, I do good in my society, Maybe you can, you can provide the maternity. But when you combine with Rotary, magic happens. You see that that money you will have used for one project. We combine it and we provide a hospital inside which we get uh, 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 maternity with just the one of the facilities available. So Rotary is very good. And I want to enjoy all of us here that we are ripe enough to join Rotary. We are not really the richest in the society, but we have that heart. All of us will have that heart that we can help the society. We can help the less privileged. We have 10 naira in our pockets. We believe there are some people that may not even have one, and we are ready to share the little we have with them. One thing about Rotary projects, this is a district grant project. I want to thank the handlers, the club, Rotary Club of Asaba Metropolitan, they have been very outstanding this year. We are just in the first 27th day of our Rotary year, and Rotary Club of Asaba Metro has brought me to Asaba two times now to come and commission projects. So I want to thank the club and the club leaders for doing this kind of thing. I want to thank you again for doing your due process. You did need assessment from what I've heard from the president that you did your due assessment. President, you are a very lucky one. We are commissioning it today, the day of your birth. So congratulations to you. We will sing for you at the right time. And you capitalize on that one, I feel on it. But I want to advise Kotui Haza and uh, our mommy and every community around here. There's one thing that is very dear to the heart of Rotary when it comes to projects sustainability sustainability we want you to take possession of this project take it completely sense of ownership should be there protect it maintain it we want to come back in the next five years and still see the thing working we want to see a situation where you call us back say come you people did this for us from this we can progress to another project another level of, of accomplishments so please, 
make sure it is sustained, it is maintained. On knowing day, some district officers will be coming around to look at the project without announcing it or saying anything and give. And for the benefit of humanity and service to God, we commission this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We hand over this to the community through you because you have been part of it and you have pledged to be part of it always. We have stressed the essence of sustainability, which is very, very particular about that. So this day, this is a Rotary District Network for One Nigeria grant project executed by Rotary Club of Ansaba Metro. And today, I'm privileged to be commissioning it on behalf of Rotary Club of Asaba Metro. We want to thank First President Jones and we congratulate our president, whose time this has come to fruition. We thank you, and this is done today, 26th July 2018, through the district government. Thank you. Thank you. A big thank you to the Rotary International, Rotary all over. You all have taken time to do this for us, and I'm sure you that you are more of a server, that this will be a project that we will constantly maintain, and we are most grateful to you all. <laughs>